Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to continue on where we left off. In the previous video, I showed you how to buy a domain name and how to buy a hosting website. But the problem is that if you purchase your domain name through GoDaddy.com, then your domain is not connected to your hosting site. And you need that um, if you want to be able to move forward. And I'm going to show you kind of what happens. Okay, so um, the domain name that I ended up purchasing for the sake of this video, um, I just called Cameron's Masterclass.com. And if you take a look at this, uh, instead of going to an actual website, it just takes me back to GoDaddy.com. Now, why does it do that? It's because the name servers still belong to GoDaddy. Okay, name servers is kind of what gives uh, your hosting site the rights to that domain. Okay, so what we need to do is transfer those over to the the name servers that Bluehost provides. Okay, so if you followed through in the last video and you did purchase or you already have Bluehost, then this is how you would do that. Okay, so you want to go to Bluehost.com and you're gonna log into your account, okay? And it will kind of take you to uh, the back office or the, the main page. And then you are going to, um, over here on the sidebar, you're gonna see a button that says domains. You're gonna to wanna to click on that, okay? And it will show you all the domains that you have purchased in the past. Um, and you're gonna click the one that you want. In this case, I'm just gonna do the freedomtobecome.com. That's the website that I use most often. Um, and once you click on that, you're gonna see a couple other options here. It's renewal, contact, security, name servers. Okay, name servers is what we're going after here. Okay, remember that. So if you click on that, it will show you what Bluehost's assigned name servers are, okay? So ns1.bluehost.com, ns2.bluehost.com. Okay, so open up your GoDaddy account. Okay, you're gonna want both tabs open. You want Bluehost and your GoDaddy account. Okay, so over here, um, I'm just gonna show you, I think, uh, the, best, the best way to do this. So why don't we just start from scratch here. Go to oops, GoDaddy.com. And once you sign in, what you're gonna need to do is click this little arrow and it will show you some options here. You wanna click on manage domains, okay? And so it's gonna take you to the domain that you have recently purchased through godaddy.com, okay? To access the section where you can edit and update the name servers, you wanna click on these three little dots. It'll give you two options here, manage DNS and domain settings. We're gonna click on manage DNS and what that will do is it will open up to the page that has all of the records for the domain that you've just purchased. Okay, now I don't want you to get stressed out about this. If you look at this, it's kind of ugly. It's, you know, it's a lot of different codes and things like that, but don't stress it because I am going to cover all of this in future videos. Okay, so um, just ignore this for right now, but know that this is important. We're gonna come back and talk about that. Down below the records section here, you're gonna see name servers. That's what we're looking for, okay? So it looks like it's got the default name servers for GoDaddy in here, but we want to change those to the name servers from Bluehost.com to give Bluehost basically the rights to the domain, okay? So we wanna click on change, um, go from default to custom, that allows us to enter in our, our own. Now you might see a pop-up here, that's totally fine, just ignore that, we're not gonna stress about that. And then right here is where we'll enter Bluehost name server. So come to the top, change it over. What I'm going to do is copy the name server, paste it in there, paste it down here, but remember this is ns2.bluehost.com, okay? So save that in there. And what that will do is give Bluehost the rights to that domain, okay? Now this is going to take some time. It might take one day, it could take up to 72 hours, all right? But you need to give it time to propagate and become worldwide and recognizable throughout the system here, okay? So if you don't see the changes automatically, if you type in your website, for example, if I were to go in and type in Cameron's Masterclass right now, 
nothing will have changed because it needs time to, to make the change, okay? So don't stress that. But now your domain is connected with your host site, which in this case would be Bluehost, and you should be good to go there, okay? But if you have any questions whatsoever, please comment down below and I will help you, okay? I don't want this to be stressful for you in any way, shape, or form. I want it to be easy and my knowledge is your knowledge now, okay? So any questions, comment down below and we'll see you in the next